Nick Gunn and Lance Marshall here and welcome to another review on the channel. As you guys can see today, there's a brand new promo, not on the horizon, it's out now. It is shapeshifters. Now these shapeshifters have been increased in terms of stats for their current position that they've ship, 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 ship shifted into. Uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, they've changed in stats for the position they've changed into. And um, with that being said, they've changed position as well. So each one of them is a changed position. So for, like, for instance, Mares, right wing to Cam. That's all, right back to Striker. That's pretty damn uh, drastic in terms of a change, but that is exactly what's happening. Some of them uh, have changed weak foots. Some of them changed skill moves. And some of them changed work rates and that is exactly why he was trying to talk today not only is he changed from a right back to a striker he's also changed from high to high work rates to high to medium work rates so that is something to focus on on the card especially for an attacking player on this game like i say i always prefer high to medium and if at all it should work and lads you're gonna see if it does work in the day's review so if you do enjoy you know what to do bring that hype smash that like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here if we get a thousand likes that would be sensational thank you so much for the support on the name our review earlier on that meant the world it really really did honestly it really did um subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here click that notification bell as well if you want to check out my socials marsh 89 yt on the instagram marsh 89 hd on the twitter both those links are in the description below so it's my twitch i'll be live tomorrow and um yeah twitch.tv forward slash marshall 89 hd so he's gonna be playing striker and as you can see high to medium work rates he's got that um brand new work rate set if it was high to high he would have been up down up down up down up down but with the high to medium he drops back a little bit and then he bursts forward when you're gone the counter attack with the pace that he's got i know i i i, I, I can see his card stats right now but it's very hard to see it's very hard to see, and they're gonna change the color. You know how it's um, it's like red, ready, pinky right now. Even my eyes, they're struggling to see the numbers on the card. I think it's 95 pace, 86 shooting, 83 pass, 91 dribbling, it's 76 defending, and 83 physical. But he's 86 overall as well. Lads, they're gonna change that. They're gonna change that to white or a different color, maybe a yellow or something like that. But um, right now it's just messing completely with my eyes. Not only my eyes. Everybody's eyes. Like you've seen as well, he had a four star skill set, five star weak first, and those like the medium workers. As for his in game stats, lads, he's fast. He's quick. He's got 97 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. He's very fast in this game. Not only off the ball, on the ball too. He's very fast on the ball. He's got 89 agility, 87 balance, 87 reactions, 88 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 83 composure. Those stats for a former right back. It's nuts. It's nuts. These stats, increases on these cards have been bonkers in some sense of the words. In terms of movements, it's good. High to medium work rates, but also he's got 97 attacking position and 91 finishing. That's not bad for a right back, boys, but he's a striker now. 86 shot power, that's great. 77 long shots from outside the area. Could have a few issues scoring with this card. Volleys. You're about to see, no issues with volleys whatsoever. It is 86 and 74 penalties. As for the passing, it's actually quite decent. 80 vision, 88 crossing, 86 short pass, 84 long pass, and 79 curve. Defending, it doesn't really matter because he's not really a defender anymore. Now, if you're thinking about, I'll get a tall and I'll put him in a DM. It's not going to work too great for you. He lacks interceptions, he lacks the defensive awareness, so don't do that. Play him striker or... In my personal opinion, I, I reckon his best position would be a ram or a lamb. Honestly, that is my my personal opinion. I reckon that's the best position for this card. Lama Ram, he would excel in both those positions. He's got 79 jumping. Heading comes out this card. It really does. And I explained that during the gameplay. 89 stamina, sensational. 77 strip and 87 aggression. Fantastic right there. So that being said, let's get the gameplay highlights we got with Yusuf Atal. So here we go, lads, into the gameplay clips. Now, you're going to see some goals, uh, some more goals, some more goals. But I played three games with the cards. He scored four times. He wasn't exactly prolific in terms of scoring goals because um, I'm not too sure. I was trying stuff with Marius. I was trying stuff with Atal. He definitely contributed to the team. Look at him drop back in. Drop back in? Dropping back a little bit there to get in position for that cutback. Very, very good. So my opponent did rage quit on that occasion. So he dropped back in the position. Got the chance. Put it in the net. Very, very effective. As um, we got a chance here at all, you kind of get dispossessed there. Like I said, with Atal... I was trying different things. I was testing him to his limits and stuff like that. Sometimes it didn't pay off. Sometimes it did pay off. And you're going to see exactly that in this video. It's a tall. That didn't pay off. I tried to do a dummy and run back on the way. What did he do? He jumped out the way of the ball. Just nonchalantly, he jumped out the way of the ball. But he goes to the dribble here. It does cut it back eventually. Um, yeah, I tried a shot. It didn't really work. So it worked into a cutback to Mares. Mares just beautifully has a shot himself. 
And um, I think this is going to be a fantastic goal by, uh, look at this, he flicks it up, he flicks it up in the tall and just, he does that. So it's a fantastic goal by Natal, but um, it doesn't always work out for Natal. Like I said, I was trying different things with this card, but I've got to say, he is very well rounded from the offence to the creativity to the shooting uh, to the pace to the dribbling. He's very well rounded in this game. Plus, five star weak foot. What's not to like about an attack with a five star weak foot, boys? There is nothing not to like. Now, the only issue, actually, it's not an issue for you, it's an issue for your opponents. You've got a five star weak foot. Not many people in this game know Tal's a five star weak foot. So, if you come up against someone, they're not going to know which direction he is. They, they don't know if he's lefty or righty. Um, a lot of people in this game, for a game presume that he's. Um, uh, a lot of players are right footed. They just naturally presume that. So, if you shift on his left foot, more often than not, you will get a chance to score. Fantastic finish there by Tal inside the area. But uh, that five star weak foot comes in handy. In terms of pace, it's there. 97 acceleration, 93 spin speed, it is there with the cards. He can um, can blip past anyone on this game. He can uh, shimmy to a side very quickly because he's got the agility as well. 89. And in terms of chem style, I think I used Deadeye on the cards. So uh, in terms of Deadeye, I could have put like a sniper on him or something like that. But I thought Deadeye suited the card very, very well. As we've got a chance here, Neymar doing fantastically. Um, he's going to cut it back for the tall header. But Ads, he's not going to head. In. He's just not going to head. And that's the only cut I found on this card. He's not going to head. He head accuracy 67. He should score that every single time. Lads, I could score that with a centre back in that situation, but um, he should score those chances. Morris has a shot, that's a good save by the goalkeeper. But um, yeah, in terms of what he is good at, Pierce, a five star weak foot, the movement on the card is tremendous, and his position is very, very good. The dribble on this card is nuts. It is crazy, it is crazy. His ball control is good, his dribble is good, his close control on the dribble is good, so it doesn't get too far away from him. I'm very, very impressed with that. And uh, his stamina. His stamina is 89, he can run all game long, but he doesn't have those side high work rates, so he doesn't demand that all the time. And the side notes, his finishing is very good, it's 91, but like I said, I was trying a lot of different things out, so I was having long shots, they didn't quite come off, so I wouldn't say the finishing is the be all and end all with this card, it's really not, the long shots weren't that crazy, they weren't that good, so like you would have seen on one of the clips, I kind of shimmied to the right, I took a shot across goal, and it just went... It was almost like a low driven pass, you know what I'm saying? But lads, with that being said, let's get into the overall summary for use of Tal and this, um, I was going to call him Footless Boys because he's already got a Footless right back. But uh, Shape Shifter, a bit of a different name for a card, isn't it? Shape Shifter Card Boys, let's get into the overall summary. So there we have it, lads, for use of Tal. Would I say he's like, um, like a meta striker? No, I wouldn't say he is a meta striker. He's a good striker, he's not a meta striker. Um, he's, he's a very competent striker on this game as it's all. So from right back to striker, you can see his merits. Five star weak foot, four star skills, very, very good in that category. High to medium work rates now instead of high to high. Um, I'm very impressed by this card, very impressed by this card. So much so I'm giving a 9.0, but is he better than the likes of Ben Yedda, Mbappe from Ligue 1, those kind of strikers? I don't believe so. I don't believe he's better than the normal uh, Mbappe and Ben Yedda's special cards. I don't believe he's better than any of those. Uh, but he is good at what he does bring on this game. He brings pace, he brings good movement, a good positioning, uh, a decent shot power, long shots, not so much. Um, yeah, good dribbling on the card, great ball control, good passing, uh, great physicals from the strength of 77 to the aggression of 87 and um, the stamina as well, 89. So he does bring a lot to this game. And it's something different, man. I like using different players. Now, I could have used uh, Ben Yedda tonight. I could have reviewed Ben Yedda for you guys. I really could have. Um, I could have reviewed David Luiz. I've actually played him at CDM before, but the interesting thing about these cards is David Luiz is no longer medium to medium. He's medium to high. Those are the interesting thoughts about these cards. Lionel Messi. He's set of forwards, he's high to low. He's not gonna track back, the stamina won't reduce. That is very, very good for the card. So he have been very smart with this promo so far. And um, we've got a good selection of players and this card is a very good starter for myself. So 9.0 is what he's getting an overall rating. Value for coins, 7.8. I know what I said with Neymar. Neymar is a quality player that always guarantees you quality. That will be end game. I don't believe at all, at, at all is end game. I don't believe, um, He's better than some strikers on this game, so I don't believe he record. Right, I don't know. He doesn't recognise to me as value coins at this moment in time. But he is 400k on the Xbox, 480 on the PlayStation. Do I expect about the price to drop? Yes, I do. Uh, by at least 100 to 200k, so he will drop over time. In terms of enjoyment, 9.0. I did have enjoyment card. You would have seen the flicks, you would have seen the tricks, and you would have seen the goals. Uh, I did have enjoyment in that. In terms of starter substitute, I don't use this what guy whatsoever. 
Lads, he's a great starter. He's a fantastic starter. Also, he'd be great as a server. Do I reckon he's better than the likes of Aussie men? No. Do I? I'm not too certain. Aussie men and Natal? I don't know, man. It's it's very... um. I, I, I never thought about that just till now. Uh, Aussie men's... I, I actually, see, I, I'd say Aussie men is better. I haven't used Aussie men a lot of times. I'd probably say Aussie men is a bit better than this at all I've used currently. I played three games with the card. He scored four times. This is once. 7.7, uh, 8.1, and a 7.8 in his first three games. I think the first one actually rage created 1 0 as well. In terms of links, Morris. Morris now has a camp cards. And with that, you can link at all. You would have seen it in the starting squad as well. That was a very good link to at all. Also, Cyprian, Cyprian, I do place, uh, do believe plays for Nice as well. So that is a brand new League SBC card that links to its all. Cyprian is a great, great choice. In terms of a um, similar player, I'd say Youngmin Son. Why would I say Youngmin Son? Youngmin Son has a five-star week for four-star skills. Very similar in that aspect. And what they bring to the table is kind of similar uh, statistical layouts, but they are quite similar in game in the way they perform. Um, yeah, I'd say they're very similar, actually, those two cards. In terms of key pro will be the pace, the key con will be the heading, because he sucks at hitting. Even goal kicks, he wasn't winning any goal kicks. And for my goal kicks, I don't always like to pass it out to the fullbacks, kick it to the cam, kick it to the winger. I like to put it in my strike. I like to play route one from goal kicks. I don't like to play boring football in this game. Everyone seems to want that way. I like to attack, attack, attack. And um, I'm quite ruthless in my attack as well. Once I do get going, it's just the defense I struggle with on this game. So in terms of best camps, that would be dead eye for me. It takes him to a 93 from an 86, by the way, from an 86. A 93 left midfielder, left forward, center forward, and left wing with um, your turn it. Vice versa, whatever you want to say, on the right wing as well. 92 can too. I think for a striker, it goes to a 91 or a 90 with the Jedi Kemp style attached. Not too shabby, lads, not too shabby. But like I said, in terms of the over 100k brackets and uh, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills, I believe Ben Yedder's better than him, I believe Son's better than him, and uh, then it's all this. Uh, um, what the hell do you call these cards? I've got no idea. Literally, change. Uh, shape shifters, that's the one. Shape shifters. I reckon he's coming in at number three right there. And in terms of under 100k, this is in comparison to players under 100k with the same five star week for four star skills. Batshuayi was free. And if you did that Batshuayi, Atal is better. Atal is better. Look at how well around he is. Passing eight, physical eight, shooting eight, dribbling, you guessed it, another eight on the boards. And lads, it's going to be it for another review today. The first one was supported tremendously by you guys. Once again, thank you so much for the support on that video. If you can support this one as well, that would be sensational. Leave a like if you did enjoy the review. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Leave a comment. Shapeshifters have opened. Which shapeshifter do you want to see reviewed on the channel next? Simply let me know in the comment section below. But lads, that's going to be it from me. Hope you had a great day today. And as always, I will catch you all next time.